Hi, lovely planner friends. Happy May. Um, this is my April collective planner haul. Um, I'm kind of standing while talking and doing this. I might eventually sit. I don't know yet. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and sit. Um, just because this is going to take me a while to get through all of this stuff. Um, there's like a lot of happy mail here. Also, sorry if you guys end up hearing my like computer for work chime in the background. It just does this. Um, let me unplug it actually. That way, because it's been doing it randomly. Ugh, it's on my nerves. Like I never turn it off. I just put it to sleep. I should because I work in IT and I know better, but I don't care. Especially when like I wake up late-ish, like right when I need to sign on for work. And I just want to jump on my work computer and get to work. So anyways, ooh, I'm so sorry for yawning. My Apple Watch is dead. I forgot to charge it last night. Um, it is currently 10.19 on a Sunday. This is going up tomorrow morning on Monday on May 2nd. So it's currently May 1st. But yeah, I think I've lollygagged like enough with you guys. Let's just kind of get into it. Um... I don't know which way to go but I also am gonna be showing you guys quote unquote happy mail from myself um, aka just like stickers I made for myself let me know if you guys find this interesting and if you'd want me to bring some of this stuff to my shop my freaking desk is a mess because of damn silhouettes and sh stuff sorry for my colorful language anyways not my desk exactly it was a mess I cleaned it up a little bit but my um, like filming pad I use because my desk is actually black I use this like white like styrofoam board from Michaels anyways let's get into it I made myself some like flower underlays you can kind of see them I thought they're really cute I'm gonna be using it with the meadow kit um, I actually like when patterns are really small for underlays I don't really use them often I regret not using them and like lovey spreads and stuff like that but um I made myself some silver like flower pattern underlays. They kind of look like mosaic tiles. But you can see the closer I get that they are daisies. So it's very cute. And then I made myself just some light gold confetti underlays. This is probably not what I would end up bringing to my shop just because I don't like how repetitive this pattern is. It definitely looks like a mosaic tile. Um, but I have stuff coming soon so stay tuned for that so yeah I would probably definitely bring the daisies but not everything so then I'll go ahead and get into some other foil items and scripts that I made that are either misfit or like I couldn't throw into extra orders it's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles so yeah so let's start off with let me see the stranger things overlays I did um, these are in my shop if you're interested um, you could use the strange art from kittenish girl dress and either caress press girlfriends co whoever your favorite shop is I um, ordered it from girlfriends co just because I liked her colors more this is really hard to tell it is like a dark navy blue i did not list this foil though because it was like practically black and i didn't think people would really use it and i didn't think there was like a shop with foil that already matched so but we do have here you can see it's navy and then we have four quotes and it says Nor nobody normal ever accomplish any my work computer is still chiming i hate that thing um nobody normal ever accomplished anything meaningful in this world welcome to the and then i had it flipped upside down friends don't lie and then mike and dustin and lucas and 11 and will upside down with this here and this is like a little um i think this is a demogorgon also i just realized my hair ties on my wrist i'm sorry it was gross but anyways um yeah i made this in a navy blue color then we have sparkly hollow i'm not using sparkly hollow um i have matte silver this was just to show all the foils this is like a this is just red, standard red. And then we have a sparkly red, like star red. And then there is a matching SPC foil for this. Hold on. 
I'm trying to grab, this is not the right mini album. I did order, actually I don't think I have the full thing, but I do have a matte sampler of it. And I did order a foil bundle from Scrubble Prince Co. to match. Hold on. Ugh. That matches this. I have the matte sampler from like a freebie pack. This is just red glitter, but then this is the red star. Glitter red star. And it's like a perfect match. So I'll have that. If I have to mark anything important, if not, I'll just hold on to it for later because I still have glitter red star. So yes, that is the one that I'll most likely be using. This is the one I'm keeping. No one has ordered any of the other ones. This is like my silver glitter. It did like misfit, but it's not for anyone, so it doesn't really matter. It's really pretty though. I love the silver glitter. This was, um, this is my pixie hollow. It's very pretty as well, but the silver glitter is like more chunky. And then this is hollow. And I think it did misfit a little right here, but like I said, it's not for anyone, so it doesn't matter. It's just testing. I'll probably just throw it into like a misfit grab bag one day eventually. This is the light gold. This is the pink gold. And then this is unfoiled. I honestly think that like that would be cute. This is silver. And then I think this is the hot gold. So my light gold is actually very close to Scribble Prince Co.'s um, gold and like Crest Press gold. But the hot gold is more just like what other shops usually have as standard gold. So then I have some scripts that I have here for myself. Um, this is like a script bag I made for myself. I don't know why. I guess like whatever extras happened. I don't know. Anyways, so I'm gonna put them in a little cello to like feel like Happy Mail, but these I didn't put in a cello yet. So I made myself like a shop owner sampler of like design, listings, print and cut, foil stickers, pack orders, orders, PL run. Um, this is not a font I typically offer in my shop, but if you guys are interested, let me know. This is just a font that like I pay a license for. Then I have like a typical sampler for myself, which is McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Crumble, Nail Appointment, Target Run, Costco with Mom, with Bubs, One Tree Hill, and SVU. And then we have some cook scripts here. I do mark cooking quite a bit. And then let's open this cello. Oh, we can also show you this here. This is just like a misfit like the machine just messed up it's still cut perfectly fine but i would never put this in an order so this is laundry and then this is workout this is like a test sheet and then this is work and it is misfit a little but there's some that are still usable so i will use that if i mark work with those scripts and then we have bake and I don't know, this. I don't think this misfitted. I think I just made myself some bake scripts. This is Animal Crossing. This was like a script type that I was gonna bring to the shop. And then I decided not to, but let me know if you guys want me to. It would be a different font choice option. And this is both handwriting for me. Like this isn't like a script and a font. That's what I did with my shop. Like I do fonts and scripts now versus like all handwriting because doing fonts makes it go a little bit faster but if you guys would be interested let me know but I made myself an Animal Crossing and this is when I was also playing with a different like layout for this because I had moved this from here to there um, but I think I still have it the old way so yeah this would be called like round calligraphy and then I have Target Run and Font 1 Script 1. I have Starbucks. This is really misfit, but some of it's still usable. This is Font 1. Then we have Happy Mail and Font 2 Script 2. Yep, this is a little bit misfit, but most of it is still usable. Then we have Font 1 Script 1 Target Run, which is kind of off-cut, but still usable. Then Film Plan With Me, Edit Plan With Me, Upload Plan With Me, and Font 2 Script 2. And then another off-cut, but it's mostly still usable for the most part besides this side. Font 1 of Starbucks. I really like Font 1. And Font 3 is like my top. Font 3, Script 3 is like a top seller. Then we have Film Plan With Me, Edit Plan With Me, Upload Plan With Me. And Font 2, Script 2, same goes for Happy Mail. Target Run, so as you can see, I, the machine just didn't like these one day or something like that. Actually, this one I think is fine. And then this is Morning Coffee, and this is Font 3, Script 3, and it's a very, like, one of the most populars. Um, 
combinations and scripts that I sell in my shop. So that is all of my scripts for myself. And then I might as well just go on to show you guys my doodles. And I should have every single doodle that I came out with. Um, this is Teddy Plans Co. on top, just like some printables that I got from her. But hold on, I also have some paper shire that I made digitals. Let me move those out of here. All right, so um, I made myself some smartphone doodles. I do this like pastel rainbow colorway now for doodles, so I really enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you guys think like the screen is too dark and you want me to change that. I definitely will. Then we have the hot drink travel cup that I made. Um, the base of the cup was like the same I like as my old like doodle cups. I just made the sleeve like look more like a Starbucks cup. And then we have some iced coffee doodles. Let me know also if you want them to be a little bit bigger. Um, I can definitely do that. Then we have some desktop computer doodles. They're inspired by IMAX, the colorful IMAX. I have some bullseye, rainbow bullseye, rainbow bullseye baskets. Obviously Target inspired. We have some classic bullseye baskets. Really like the red. And then we have these planner session doodles where I made these like inspired cloud planners in these rainbow colors with like doodle stickers on them. You can kind of see. So we have those, and then I love the Happy Mail doodles. These are drawn by me. This is not the art that like Pencil Pink, if you might know her on Etsy, a lot of people use her stuff like Scroll Prince Co. does, um, Carly Plans does, um, yeah, like a lot of shops use her stuff. But this is mine, and I had, I don't want to be like, I had this first, but I did <laughs> um, when I first re opened my shop in 2020. So. I made them in like a pastel rainbow colorway. Then we have classic Mickey D's Doodles 2.0. So this is in the classic colorway. This is the Chick-fil-A 2.0 Doodles. I drew like an extra like, like a paper bag to go next to the like drinks and the like milkshakes. And then you have nuggets, sandwiches, fries, and more nuggets. Um, so yeah, I love these. These are one of my favorites. I I could try to do them in pastel rainbow. I was just being really lazy. Then we have some bullseye shopping bags. We have some rainbow bullseye shopping bags. And then, um, gotta love that to mark Target. I have another thing of Chick-fil-A doodles. Another thing of rainbow shopping bags. Another thing of bullseye bags. And then some Chipotle doodles. I hadn't had any, so I'm really glad to have some now. Some ice cream sundaes. I redid my, like, ice cream doodles from the old style. We have some soft serve ice cream cones. They're all rainbow now, the pastel rainbow, and they don't have, like, the um, sprinkles on them. It was just easier in terms of design. Then we have these ice cream cones with, like, chocolate fudge and a little cherry on top. Then we have the Cupcake 2.0. I used to have like a cupcake, like three different designs of the cupcake. And then I just decided to use my logo. Um, so yeah, we have Cupcake 2.0. We have Stand Mixer 2.0. I originally had Stand Mixers. These, I didn't like, I mean, I made them smaller and I made the colors different. Um, but like in terms of like artistic style, they didn't change that much. They just definitely look more like cartoony than like realistic to me than they did when I first came out with stuff. This is chicken breakfast. Love that. A lot of these I just mostly made the like lines bolder. And then this is Mickey D's breakfast 2.0. I redid the like breakfast sandwiches and made the lines bolder on the um, happy, like not happy meals, what do you call those? um hot cakes tray or whatever oh, so sorry and then um the hash browns like i said made more bold i redid the coffee cups um the frappes stayed the same so then we have taco bell 2.0 doodles i switched it from just the cup to the baja blast freeze and then i redid the crunch wrap doodle i love the way the crunch wrap looks um and then <clears throat> i kept the Quesadilla the same, I just redid the like lines bolder and then I changed the tacos. I just used the Chipotle taco that I used and I made it more like yellow, kind of like a Doritos Locos taco or whatever. We have another pastel rainbow happy meal 
Um, we have some credit cards I made. Um, these were requested, so they're like pastel rainbow. We have novelty shake 2.0. They're just mostly smaller and the lines are more defined, but otherwise the design, the design was the same. Ice cream sundaes, rainbow play buttons, perfect for marking YouTube videos. Um, these cookie doodles I'm obsessed with. I'm so proud of myself for how these came out. So you have a stack of chocolate chip and then you have like the classic um, sugar cookie. This is inspired by crumble. So I did it in like a rainbow, pastel rainbow colorway. And I just am so proud of these. And I tried to do like alternating, like this is a color and then this is a different color and this is a different color and then this is a different color. Actually, no, I think they're the same. Yeah, so these are like, this is the same and then this is the same. Then this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and this, alternating like that. Then some cinnamon bun noodles. I'm so proud of these as well. Um, I kind of like, they're kind of like the original ones that I did, I think. But I like changed like the shading and the like, um, I, I definitely like redrew it. But I don't, I don't know how to like describe how different it is. But I'm really proud of these and the lines are more bold and it looks more like, I don't know. It just looks really yummy and I was really proud of these. Um, and then I have another Chipotle Doodles, another soft serve ice cream, ah, some pastel rainbow scallop planners. The black is pretty dark. I might end up like making that a little bit different, but I'm super proud of these as well. So cute. Then some more chicken breakfast, some novelty shake 2.0, some more ice cream cones. Oh, this is the fried chicken doodles. Um, I redid, I just made the lens a little bit more bolder, a little bit more detailing, and then I got rid of like having the different sauce dippings for this, but I mostly just made the lines more bold. And then another pastel rainbow scallop planner. So that is everything I think from my shop. Um, I can also put this in the title that it was my new releases for the month of April. And yeah, definitely make sure to check out my shop if you're interested. Um, then, since we're still on doodles, I'll just go ahead and show you some freebies I made myself. Well, not freebies, I paid for these. Um, like, Paper Shower sells, like, digital nanas. So, I made myself, um, the girl cleaning so far. I'm gonna make more. The girl cooking. The nana cooking. The nana doing laundry. I did laundry today. Kind of proud of myself. And then, the girl nana, um watching a movie and eating popcorn and a soda and that's my vibe so anyways speaking of oh my god i'm so stressed there's so much stuff i have to do this weekend it's like finals coming up on projects my car having issues i have to look at test driving cars we're seeing multiverse of madness like it's just a madhouse i have training at work all week i'm just stressed so anyways let's let me open this and take my invoice out and I'll show you the next bit of Happy Mail. I think this is Scribble Prince Co. Um, yes, okay. Finally get to play with mail. Okay, Happy Mail. So then here is from Scribble Prince Co. That's funny, it cut off funny. Um, this is the, I think, Andrea freebie. Um, she said that she's doing these in like different colorways like that remind her of her friends or her friends choose so you have a candle uh mini ears a louis vuitton bag a planner a happy meal uh old like a imac uh, a dymo a target bag a mushroom for mario kart uh legos a princess and then the baby shark i think this is for her kids so super cute and it's in yellow then i think I don't know if this is a freebie it says declutter me time tidy up take out laundry workout and target run and it's in light gold nothing is gonna drive me nuts i think it wants me to update i'm not gonna do it <laughs> then um there are some crumble doodles i am like always fine buying like other designs that are like something i've designed i don't mind having like mini variations for marking something so these are crumble doodles and you have like the um sugar cookie and then the box super cute and then like the uh sugar cookies are different colors so i did like that because i didn't really do that i just changed the box colors and i included the chocolate chip cookie 
Um, not that I even like the chocolate chip one though, it's not my favorite. Then we have the different colorway doodles. This is, I forgot what type of pink this was, but um, this is sheet nine. This is sheet eight, sheet seven, sheet six, sheet five, sheet four. I like this one the most, I think. Sheet three, I like this one too. I think, yeah, lots of chores and stuff. Sheet two, like credit cards, money, um, happy mail switch, etc. And then sheet one, which is the Disney one. So, have that from School Friends Co. So much doodles. I love doodles, y'all. Then, it's like I'm a doodle shop or something. Well, also, I'm supposed to be a character sticker shop, but we haven't done that yet. Then, I think I have another doodles from SPC. And then, some cactus. And then, I'll move on to letters to Apollo. So, let me open this. Yep. Before I open that with my invoice for y'all. Um, is this a freebie? I'm confused. Oh, no. No, it's... No. It had to be separate, I guess. Okay, so there's like a lot of doodles. Okay, so anyways, this is now Kirsten's freebie. I love this purple color. But, um, no, this is Kenneth Jess freebie. So this has the, like, shake and burger. And this is in the purple colorway. And then you have an iPad, laundry, happy mail, money in a jar, uh... Tissues, switch, nail polish, donuts, YouTube heart, boba, and then a cute cat. That is so cute. I don't think they sell that in the shop, so that's really cute. I don't have a cat. Probably never going to have cats again. Hashtag traumatized. Um, not because of my cats, but because of my dad. Hashtag daddy issues. Anyways, this is a freebie with the Lux. You have one, two, three, four, five headers, and then one full box. And then we have some Instant Pot Doodles. I love my Instant Pot. Then we have the Frying Pan Doodles. Um, hold on. It doesn't want to separate. Then we have the, like, Cappuccino Doodles. We have the Pancake Stack Doodles. I prefer, like, this style rather than, like, flat lay style most of the time. Like, toast is fine. So you have toast. Like, I don't really like flat lay flat lays on plates like I'd rather it be like dimension like coming at you so this is the uh, waffles I don't really mind this this is definitely detailed like when you can see it but sometimes I feel like it's not that detailed then you have this sandwich I love making sandwiches I should make one right now even though I have pizza this is a breakfast burrito but I thought I could still use it as a burrito I don't really eat breakfast burritos like that then we have the bacon and eggs this is supposed to be PB and J sandwich, but I could use it for whatever, like grilled cheese. I don't want to make grilled cheese right now. Then we have like croissants and croissant sandwiches. Then we have this pink colorway. Um, this is sheet nine. It's like a hot pink, Barbie pink. Eight, seven, uh, six, five. Come on, five, four. Three, two, and one. This hot pink is so pretty. Then we have ah, grab my doodles together. Make it easy to put away. Then we have this matte silver sampler. And then this is the 75 plus freebie. I can't tell if that's the same colorway. Nope, it's not. It's a little bit different. But it's really pretty. I might have it. I'm not sure. So yeah, this is the matte silver label sampler, matte sampler. And then, uh, oh my god, let me check this computer. Hold on. Sorry, I'm back. I just went ahead and muted it. Apparently, and I never really realized this, apparently the stupid, like, VPN chimes every five minutes when you're not connected. It's so irritating. So I just turned the sound off. Anyways, we have the matte silver, come on, focus matte silver celestial foil bundle and i do have some matte silver foil for my shop so i can definitely make myself some foiled items for this like quote boxes or whatever i don't know what kit i'm using this with yet but super excited 
Um, then let's open Fox and Cactus. It's been a long time since I've had Fox and Cactus Happy Meal, so I'm super excited. I stocked up. So, opening this. So here we have the freebie. This was for March. So it says day off. Oh, I love these girls. The girl with the boba, the girl walking, the paintbrush, and then like a dinosaur, I think, sipping boba. This is too big of a sticker, so I probably wouldn't use it. But, and it says thank you so much, China, from Emma and Tom. So sweet. I love that. Then we have a thank you card. It says give me cake. And, um, I'm not going to read the whole entire card on the back for you guys. But anyways, this is super cute. Give me cake. Same. I'm sugar box stickers for a reason. Then we have some Ew David cats. Love Schitt's Creek. Ready to rewatch. We have some par Party Drinks cats. It's my party dinosaur. Party girls. Pilates girls. This looks like kind of like doing like the workouts I was doing, so I got these. Squat time girls, weightlifting girls, cleaning girls, rainbow help me, I'm old girls, a vibe. This is me all the time, me and my best friend. Then this is rainbow fitness girls. I got mostly rainbow. Rainbow dog walking girls, rainbow gardening girls, rainbow snuggle TV girls, Rainbow Working Laptop Girls. Rainbow Work... I guess two, I got two of these. Rainbow Working Laptop Girls. Rainbow Bookworm Girls. Rainbow Organizing Girls. Rainbow Planning Girls. I love Rainbow. Rainbow Shopping. This is so cute. I always get the um, Medium Skin. Rainbow Feeling Fine Girls. Mood me after this week and looking at my schedule for next week. Rainbow Home Conference Girls. Rainbow Walking Girls. These are so cute. Rainbow Cooking Girls. And I got the Rainbow Bubble Tea Girls. I love bubble tea. See, that was my Fox and Cactus order of doodles. And then let's go ahead and get into Letters to Apollo. Actually, no, wait. I still have one more thing of doodles, so we'll just go ahead and get into this. This is from Bubba Bear Studios. Um, my friend Shay has a code. I think it's Shay15. We'll see in a second when I open this. Oh, I don't want to rip this. It says, you are a foxy thing. You are a foxy thing. Thank you. Thang. Oh, I feel bad. Anyways, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. I've never seen a cello so small like that. It's kind of iconic. Okay. So it says, hello, China, hope you come back again and visit, come, come back and visit again. Daily dose of giggles. What do you get when you plant kisses, tulips? <laughs> That's funny. I should say that to my fiance. Then it says, type the SKU numbers in search bar of www.bubbabearstudios.com to find these sticker designs. So you have the drive through Bubba Bear. The Bubba Bear crying because money's going away, which is how I feel with my car right now. Don't give a fuck, Bubba Bear, kind of a vibe. Bubba Bear with, um, on their phone. That's me texting Shay, like, all the time. And then, and talking shit. And then, <laughs> this Bubba Bear has an upset stomach, and it's going like, ugh. So cute. I think that's such, like, detail. I want to, like, do stuff like that for my shop, but I might just, like, hand letter it or something. Then, I have here, it says, thank you for shopping with us. This is the April 2022. This is fuck off, bad day. I'm having the best day. Today is going to be a great day. There's a bubba bear with like a wine glass, a grocery pickup doodle. I think this is like a soda can doodle and then a bubba bear and another bubba bear. Or I don't know if there's different names, but two bears and like they're like one's pranking the other, putting their like this over their head. And then it says tasks. Then, then there's also some like circular pastel stickers and then it says thank you for using my PR code and then it says coffee before everything 
Shea, Shea Plans. Oh, her coat is Shea 10. Then this is a, like, pink circle. This is Boo Shit. The little ghosty eating chips and drinking a soda, a vibe. The little cat drinking either it could be a soda or a coffee. The sleepy cloud, the heart, and yeah, this is just Shea. And then we have the Derpy Iced Coffee Drink Mini Sheet. It's so cute and so small. It's like perfect for little things. Then we have the Don't Give a Fuck Rainbow Bears Mood. Then we have the Bubba Nietzsche Doodles. It's been a while since I played with my hobo, but hopefully soon. Then we have the Open Ring Planners. They're so pretty in the rainbow. I have the Drive Through Bear. Pleasantly surprised. Then we have the Yas Bears. And then the Shopping Gift Bag Bears. So cute. So I think that's it. Yep. That's everything besides other stuff that I'm going to show you for Bubba Bear, but that's all the doodles. Now, let's get into letters to Apollo. Um, here, okay, this is what's already out, so let's just do that. So here we have some takeout scripts in black, coffee run in black, date night in black, bath in black, skincare in black, shower in black, wash hair. I'm going to stop saying it in black. They're all in black. Road trip, um, pack and unpack. This week, gym time. Um, the reason I got these was for my Oracell collab with Annie Plans Printables B6. I wanted to put this, um, do I have my, hold on. It's across from me. It's over by my work computer, but I will show you guys what I was intending so here it is this is my thing my thing this is my b6 planner I don't really use it a lot right now like I tried to here I'm just bad but I'm trying so I'm trying to use this more functionally oh, I'm so stressed about life and everything so let me show you how I was planning on using this if I can find my tweezers can't find the exact ones I like but we will try this this is what I was hoping to do and I will probably try to plan for this upcoming week but take this and put this there and I was also gonna make myself some scripts but I thought these would also be cute too because you do like that I'll show you how I did it before these are stickers I made for myself if you guys are interested in this, definitely let me know. I mean, I'm planning on doing it anyways. Like, sometime in June, maybe? But yeah, I also made myself some, like, weather. Important. Some time today to do. As you can see, I didn't really even do it that much. I just started for classes. Textbook notes. Gym. But yeah. Let me know if you guys are interested. I don't think it'd be this font, though. Because I don't have these font options in my shop. But I will see. So yes. That is my Orocell Annie Plans Daily Classic B6. So that's what I was hoping to do with it. And also I. It's just out right now. But usually I keep it in this. Um, I think this is the Camellia. Uh, like cover that it goes with. So. Yeah. But I usually take it out to. Um plan in it to make it easier then we have gym time errands shop laundry book hotel book flight pack and unpack cook breakfast these are a little like off cut yeah these are misfit for sure it's okay this is chores this is nail appointment get gas and then I got some bigger scripts we have Tired AF, um, Lazy AF, Oh Hello January, like Oh Hello Months, Read, I haven't read in a while, Movie Night, Grocery Shop, and then some uh, Holidays, so it has, I'm not going to read them all to you, but you can see. I liked that it had Happy Anniversary and Happy Birthday, and then My Birthday, so yeah, I thought these were really cute, so yeah, that is part of letters to Apollo order then I grabbed a two dollar holler black oops bag Let me open 
love this. I love the small cellos. They're just so cute. Um, hold on. Also, let me move these Bubba Bear stickers over here with doodles. Not that you guys can see my stack I'm creating. So this is bath. And then this is like a mail truck. Oh, that's so cute. I can use that to mark PO runs. Then you have the um, tennis shoes, Gossip Girl. Ooh. And then Starbucks. I can never have too many Starbucks strips. So that is my $2 hauler grab bag. And then this, I got these unfold because my plan is to foil them myself if I need to. I always just pick up them in black if I want to foil them. So this was from her magical release. Um, or not release, magical $2 hauler. So this is a mouseful dangle, another mouseful dangle another one and another one i got four i think of the black because i would do like gold light gold silver sparkly hollow or pixie hollow or whatever and i don't know what else maybe a special two color i don't know then we have these snack half circles they're so cute i love them they're like little mandalas and then we have them as mini circles so cute and then we have the castle icons. Obsessed. Ah. So I got, I should have four. Oh no, yeah, that's four. I missed the other one. Then we have the snack icons. Four, four of those. And we have the mouse girl icon set two. I don't know if she hand drew these or what. It's so cute though. Um, and then we have the mouse girl social media. It's gonna be me soon. And then we have the mouse midi dangles. I have four of those. Then the mouse tri dangles. I think they're so cute. Then we have the ah, park day scripts. I'm going to Disneyland. These are really small. I didn't realize how small they were going to be. And then I'm going to Disney World. Then they have Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. I guess they're perfect like for putting on a little thing. Um, they're just so small and dainty. And that's it so cute so yeah that was my letters to apollo orders and then let's get into the last part of this haul so here are some kits and i don't really open kits on camera just because i prefer to keep them in cellos um this is okay so this is the mystery kit from scribble prints co for the month of may i'm obsessed with it i think it's so cute um I just love this aesthetic and like vibe. I don't know. I also love the dog. Um, it almost reminds me of like a cartoon. But um, here, I'll open this one. But that's it. I'm not opening the others. Um, so here we have the, like I said, the full boxes. It's such a cute little house, and I love this little scene here. Um, I also love the Yeti cooler. Then we have this girl here. She's going like fishing at the lake house. I love the colors in this too. I might use this in May. I haven't done a May kit lineup yet. I have this page here. Love these colors. Like the blue with the neutrals. They're gorgeous. The blush and like the sand and the, I don't know how to call this, like ivory bone. Then you have this page here with the labels. I think this is an old format. Then this page here with the pattern um, labels. And then the bottom washi is like river, lake, and then a little full box with wine. And then you have some extra fashion. I don't really love the fashion girls for this. I do like the dog, but I don't really love the girls. And you have the extra color. And then here are your extra labels. Um, I love this flat lay as well. 15 millimeter bottom washi with the blue. And then these extra labels here. And then it came with a silver, I think, I think this is like the diamond foil bundle here I'm just gonna go through it like this two things of bougie boxes two things of this page and then icons and scripts and then bottom washi deco date numbers and uh, bow headers so that is the um, May 2022 mystery from Scrub Prince Co. So let me, there you go it's like the easiest one to get in and out, so that's the one I chose to open for you guys. Then we have the 
nostalgia kit from caress press this is my caress press order and then one more scroll print scroll kit so we have the nostalgia kit i haven't chosen where i'm gonna use this but i do have the 15 millimeter washi and the two fashion girls and then this is a freebie I don't really love this freebie. I have so many of them. I think there's two of them. One like palms, the, which I could use probably, but this one is like a coffee latte and then like a cheetah border or leopard border. And then it says Crest Press new releases. I don't really mark stuff like that. If it said new releases, I could probably use it to mark my own shop. And then it has run errands, coffee run, and then Crest Press freebie. Then we have the Tranquilla kit. So glad I have this. I have the um, Fashion Girl brunette, the tall box, and then the 15 millimeter bottom washi. And then it comes with these extra box options. So cute. I love this artist. Then we have the Campfire um, art with Jess. I love this as well. I got the Fashion Girl with the medium skin and brunette hair. And then I got the Campfire like sign, like the deco sign. Um, tall box and then you have this as the freebie i love this so much um so yeah super excited about that and then last but not least we have fourth i used this two years ago i don't really like repeating art uh but it was two years ago so i don't really mind it but i'm super excited for this i just care about the food and i didn't really like the guy fieri kit uh, flavor town from scuba prince co so i'm just gonna use this to mark fourth of july do i really care about fourth of july like that no but I think it's just cute art and I couldn't resist it so and have it now so I have to use it then last but not least we have some sticker storage so this is an album that I got from um, Simply Gilded and I'm so happy because I have it matching now at a point I was only buying the mini ones I think because they're cheaper and I really wanted this one and she restocked it so I'll show you my other one I have this and now it matches it's mom or dad whatever you prefer and then um i also have i don't think i don't know where it is i feel like i have a big one of this somewhere i don't know if not i don't really care and then i have oh, two big uh this is like a mint to see foam color and then this quilted one and i have a quilted mini one and then a mint mini one so that are the, that are those are my simply gilded albums and i picked up this one and i'm so happy do i know what i'm gonna use it for yet you tell me i mean i'm always making more stickers maybe i'll put my own stickers in here like my own like i know andrea did that for like hannah's underlays planet hannah so i might do that for myself I like that i could do that put my like foil stuff foil bundles foil options in here i think i'm gonna do that iconic of me iconic i also ordered a new one today because simply gilda had a sale and they released a lavender one so that was my simply gilded order um then there's this journaling card and then this freebie i think this is a full box with like some easter eggs i love these little hearts with the fold icons and then the flags and a little bow i think that was it was everything for simply gilded i think yes then last but not least some organization from bubba bear studios um here we have i need to trim this but um i made this like jelly you can find this on um amazon just look up like uh, what it's called like glitter jelly something like that glitter jelly material or something like that but i made this for this just because i want to make my like little thing cute but i'll show you guys what my intention is with this this is from bubble bear studios and she made like these sticker storage albums that are like clear so i'm gonna put like a vinyl on here or some other vinyls and then um you know just decorate it up i had wanted to get some from cat's breast i wanted to get some pockets and stuff because I figured it'd be, this is like happy mini size or something, I think. But anyways, I didn't do that yet. Just waiting, to be honest. So, um, I made just this so far. So, this is the two pocket one. And then I saw Abby, um, Abby, Abby Lives Well. I don't know if that's her YouTube. 
Let me look it up just to be sure. She hasn't made videos in a while, I think. Um, so definitely show her some love. But let me see. Abby lives well. No, her YouTube is Abby Marie Plants. So um, I don't think she's made videos in a while, but yeah, two months. But definitely show her account some love. But anyways, I saw her on stories on, on Instagram. You can also follow her on um, Instagram. Let me make sure that's her at. Abby. Yeah, Abby lives well. So, um, she showed how she was using, and I ordered more from Bubba Bear. I ordered more um, pockets because she came out with like a four sleeve one. We'll see if I jump the gun and do it the way Abby does it. But Abby was like putting like, I forgot what she was putting in here. Um, I'm still going to use it how I intended for the two pocket and the one pocket, but I might not need to have them in separate things I might just combine them to be honest I didn't know like how much like give these discs would give but you could also buy expander discs so that helps as well but anyways the two pocket and then the one pocket I'm about to show you guys I'm about to blow your mind so hold on where the heck did I put my Oh, you're right there. Oh my god, not you bending. This is why I need you guys right now. Okay, so I have some samplers from Paper Shire, and they're really big. So I'm just going to be putting them in here, and they fit perfectly. This is the shelf sampler, and then this is the notes sampler. This is like for my functional planning. This is what I really want. Oh, I don't think it's double-sided. Okay, whatever. This is my notes sampler. I wish it was double-sided. That would make it super awesome I might put these together and the memo sampler because why not ah. I also have more samplers I think from paper chart I don't know where they are but um I might have put them would I have put them in an album I don't think I would have um this is just so you guys can see this is where I put all my like leftover foil that's a mess um, but at least it's all like, it's like an organized mess, kind of, to be honest. And then this, here's my other paper chart stuff. Okay, I'm going to move it. <sighs> I like that this is double-sided, but I do like that this is like clear and you can decorate it and stuff like that, so. And then I have other. I might keep like, I might make this like a wedding planning thing or something. I don't know. Like other stuff, maybe, I don't know. But I'll keep those in there for now, because I really intended to only have paper chart stuff. And this so um, just for like my functional planning so we have the Halloween sampler then we have and also I might make some more samplers for myself because I have the digitals from her the digital files because I buy them the fall doodle sampler don't be triggered that Halloween is before fall I don't care then this is the festive I'm gonna put all the festive together yeah all the festive Together. they don't need to be separate they're sisters so yeah that is what I'm doing with that and I'm gonna put a vinyl on the front like I said um, probably removable that way it's not permanent and then this is the um, two pocket one and they will fit paper shire doodles perfectly which is what I intended because right now I'm holding my like functional paper shire doodles in this paper shire villa shop Shop Villa Beautiful collaboration pencil, pen pouch, whatever, however you want to call it. So let me, let's not take them all out at once, okay? Let's chill out and take a few out. So we have some like, whenever you get the freebies, this is like a memo. It's kind of like functional to me, so I want them to be available for like functional planning rather than like decorative. I don't like, I wouldn't use it in my memory planner. This is some Coffee Monsters Co. like laptop stickers. I could put those all together. Um, as well as like a, a study one and then this is like goals and resolutions um so yeah this is what i was intending with this i'm not going to keep doing it all on camera for you guys but just showing you here's some more memos um i might just do them like by sheet because i have so many sleeves we'll see if i run out of room but we have some um like freebies and more memos and 
Um, this, I got the weather to mark like weather in my um, Aura Stell A6, not A6, B6 Annie Plan Printables thing. So that was the intention. Habit trackers. It's just for having everything like for my functional planning in one place. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, like my functional doodles, whatever you want to call it. Because I wouldn't really use like these shelves for my normal like memory keeping. Unless it was like for monthly planning, like monthly highlights I would use them. Or like the, the notes or the memos. Ah! Stay. Get back. Anyways, that is it for this April 2022 haul, y'all. Haul, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications to get notified every time I upload, especially considering how bad I have been at uploading. But yes, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to give the shops I mentioned and shameless plug myself some love <laughs> i love you guys and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye